And you know what I mean by that? Everyone has something that they're believing in. For instance, it could be a religion if you wanted to believe that the moon was made of green cheese. Would it be deceptive to try to tell you that, well, the astronauts found out about it when they went there in 1978 or something like that? The fact is, Jesus did not come to make people more religious. And I'm not religious, I just happen to have a relationship with Jesus. But even the Bible talked about religion in a really negative way. In fact, the only type of religion that God sees as approvable is actually trying to attend unto those who are orphans or widows, you know, trying to comfort those people. You know, he's against religion. You know, the Bible is actually against religion. The word religion actually appears in the Bible, particularly the King James. It talks about those religious people and religion and so on and so forth, how it's all negative. You know, that's the fact and the matter of it. I've come to acknowledge and understand that the earth is only over 6,000 years old. I've come to acknowledge and understand that science proves that evolution is not true. I've come to acknowledge and understand that God does exist and he loves both you and me, everyone watching this video and everyone not watching this video. I've come to acknowledge and understand that science proves the Bible from the very first verse. So I might say confirm because that would be putting proof above the Bible, but whatever. It's I'm just trying to say that everyone has religion. No one is free from religion. Yeah, atheism is actually a religion. You know, you have to believe that there is no God and such, but you can't disprove his existence either. You know, God does not exist because you can't see him or bad things are happening in the world or because science says so. I'm sorry, that is just vague and you're just misunderstanding the creation concept. Religion is basically believing things without proof or evidence. I'm going to make this bold statement. Christian creationists are not religious. I would have to say personally, I no longer believe in a young earth. I no longer believe in creation. I acknowledge and understand that it is true because there is much proof and evidence and confirmation for the fact of it. Yes, in fact, I would even like to say that a lot of cultic and superstitious religions like Buddhism, Hinduism, Shintoism, Jainism, Sikhism, and Islam, those are still all religious, in fact, including atheism and evolutionism, because they believe things without evidence, a lot of superstitious, unscientific things, you know, believing that molecules to man to evolution. Molecules to man evolution is as absurd as trying to think, as the Buddhists think, trying to th think that the earth is suspended on the back of a bull or a turtle and such, when <laughs> the Bible clearly said a lot of scientific, um, accurate things, like thousands of years ago, saying the earth hanged on, upon nothing and the earth was circle shaped you know just read the bible for yourself and stop believing all, all these asinine uh terrible misrepresentations and lies told to you in the classroom and try searching it out for yourself you know don't try looking for answers outside of the bible okay the bible has addressed the essence of all issues i mean you interpret scripture with scripture whenever we've had a question it's always had an answer